This is uh, a momentous occasion for our community because this is the first satellite project ever in the United States in which the whole educational spectrum, K through eight, high school, the university have, have participated together. This started by my dad seeing a poster saying the sky is the limit. That made him wonder how can we surpass that. And from there we got a group of students involved in this. And from there we thought about the design and the building of this satellite. It's been two good years of hard, intense programming, soldering, redoing boards, uh, buying electronic components. And at the end, this team of FIU, Alonso Tracy Morning, and David Lawrence Jr. were able to, to have this finished product. So basically, we are in the process of transforming almost all our classes into this kind of active learning, which is uh, basically uh, very suitable for STEM education. So the project, we had to collaborate with the uh, middle school and high school students in order to, for design specifications and for assembly of the satellite and we were heavily involved communicating with them. Okay, when the satellite is launched, it is going to continuously orbit uh, the Earth. So it, it will travel at uh, a speed of uh, 17,500 miles per hour. So every 90 minutes, it, it, it will complete a, a, a revolution. During that time, every minute, the satellite is going to be broadcasting call sign, the name of the three institutions, and an email for people who listen to the satellite to report to us. This is us completing the project. This satellite is complete. Now all we're doing is waiting for the company to finish their test launch. Uh, you know, some people believe that the sky is the limit. This project actually teaches that the sky happens to be just a stopping point. 